almost all of it. Uh, we had idea. Linda Cameron Beyer, the costume designer, and I had um, mutual and shared Pinterest boards where we just throw a lot of images up on it and say, this is cool, ooh, that's cool, oh, that, we love that, look how that um, drapes or whatever. Uh, so we knew pretty much the court was going to be in Renaissance inspired clothing. So his coat is, um, if you look on the inside, the lining is all, it's material that um, looks like parchment that has been written on. Um, and so my, when I found the material, I, I thought, okay, somebody's talking to me because in my brain, I thought I want his, the lining of his coat to be the pages of his book. Um, as if he had Ariel make them into the lining of his coat so he could always keep them on him. Mm -hmm. um, and they were inside, so it was next to his heart, it was next to his chest, it was close to his chest, mm -hmm. you know, covered. Mm -hmm. But yet when he moved, you could see that there was something going on underneath there, but not mm -hmm. quite know. Mm -hmm. And then he would take the coat off. Um, but and then the, the purple and all of that coming up was that, you know, from the ocean depths, that, that magic kind of seeping into the coat. But her bodice was actually made out of the leather of one of his books. Yes. Yeah. Um, and um, in my brain, her, the white of her, um, her gauziness underneath that was sailcloth, uh, mm -hmm. or, you know, was cloth that was, you know, was, was from the sails and, uh, you know, that was 12 years old and tattered and ragged and, you know, <laughs> used and abused. All of the female aerials, all of them have mm -hmm. shoes that mm -hmm. are the same style, okay. uh, and they're all kind of with their uh, their spirit element. Mm -hmm. And so for Mar Miranda, it's like her father's magic in shoe form. Okay. He has taken his mom's cloak, um, so Sycorax's cloak, and that is full of magic and. Uh, and he has added his own magic to it in the form of the skins of rodents that he has caught and the, you know, and the, um, the pieces of seaweed that he's added and the, the swaths of, of, you know, uh, pieces of, of things that he added to it. And he did that because he wanted ownership of you know the island and of mm -hmm. his mother's cloak and of the magic and so he he wanted to imbue that you know with his magic and his strength and so that's where his gabardine uh came into you know came into play and it was also taking the we've got to do something that's lightweight enough that he doesn't die because dude mm -hmm. is running all around and doing all this stuff mm -hmm. and i really wanted the feel of air and the feel of when he moved, you could see that it was just this light thing and yet it has this weight because of the row of the rodents, um, which is an old, just so you know, it's a bunch of really vintage, really old um, fur pieces that I had in a box and I was like, I use for these. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using them. Um, I love that. Because I'm, really not you know I, I don't do fur as a general rule I do faux fur I do you know I'm really conscious of that but yet there's these vintage furs that you know I had been given that it was like well I would rather use them mm -hmm. in something that's beautiful and wonderful and then makes a statement mm -hmm. the fun thing that um that I think Denise was worried about was that earth not be the which of these things it's not like the other <laughs> portion of it you know that there's no shine to it there's no you know if all of if earth because of course earth and air and fire like sparkles and yeah. shines and you know and then i mean air and air and water and fire yeah. um and me all shiny and sparkly and then you have earth and it's like dirt um <laughs> you know, <laughs> but um i started thinking about earth as in mica and and like granite and rocks that uh that have this uh great sheen to it and if you 
go into a cavern looking for um, gold, you know, and you see a gold, um, what's it called? Um, you know, a, a vein, oh, yeah. a vein of gold. Yeah. It has that kind of where it breaks off and it's gold, but then it has the shine of the rocks. So that's where hers came from. Um, and uh, it was just making sure that they didn't, that they were cohesive, but yet they were absolutely their own, their own being. Mm -hmm. So we had, I had fun with it. And yeah. I don't know if you got close to air, but she has actual bubbles on her, um, oh, oh, on her no, costume. I, know. <laughs> I didn't know. I was, didn't know. I, was um, I was in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was, it's, um, uh, I took, um, ornaments like Christmas ornaments that are, that are clear. And I, so I did, so there's actual bubbles going up her entire, oh. um, and then the, yeah. So it was, that was one of the things, again, that was one of the early things where I was like, I really want to put bubbles on her costume. How can I put bubbles on her costume? Cause air bubbles, of course, yeah. you know, how do you, I mean, how do you, you know? And so that was, yeah. So bubbles. 